thank you for joining us here at Oregon Coast Aquarium. My name's Ashley and I am the assistant curator of mammals and I'm here with Brittany who is our curator of mammals. Hi. And then we have Oswald here. Oswald is turning 10 actually so we're celebrating his birthday and he's going to show off some of his adaptations for sea otters. Good. So something you might notice is that they are covered in fur. They actually have the most dense fur coat in the animal kingdom and that is pretty great because unlike most marine mammals these guys don't have blubber to stay warm so they actually rely on that fur coat as one way to stay nice and warm to give you an idea of just how thick a sea otter's fur is if you make the okay sign that's roughly one square inch within one square inch a sea otter has around one million hairs now they actually have different lengths of fur as well um, so they have an under layer that's shorter and kind of acts like an insulator. And then they have longer hairs called guard hairs. And when our sea otters are grooming, they're actually going to be blowing air into their fur. And that will kind of collect under those guard hairs that are barbed. And it will make a barrier between their skin and the water. So that way, if an otter is properly groomed, their skin actually won't feel that water at all. Oswald. Now, another way to stay warm for adaptation is also how much they eat per day. So a sea otter needs to eat around 25% of its body weight a day because they actually have a very fast metabolism that acts like an internal heater to keep them nice and warm. Now, sea otters also have some really amazing teeth. Now, these guys eat a lot of different marine invertebrates. And as you're seeing, he's actually eating a lot of different squid, two awesome. different types of clam, shrimp, and crab, and a one fish called capelin as well. Now, sea otters actually Target. have giant molars Good. in the back of their mouth, and Target. those are meant for crushing open. and grinding. Now, that allows them to be able to crush through the exoskeleton Target. of a crab with ease. Good. Now, sea otters also are tool users, which is pretty rare in the animal kingdom, and that's to help them eat things like urchins that are more pokey. So instead of them having to bite into that really spiny object, they can then use a rock or a big shell to like an anvil and crush open that food item. And one last one is otters come with pockets. Now it's right underneath their front paws and it looks like extra loose baggy skin. And that pocket acts as a tool for foraging. So when otters are foraging, they'll actually dive down and collect as many pieces of food as they can, and they'll put it into their pocket, which acts like a reusable grocery bag. So they can actually have a lot of different food in there. And we've actually seen one of our otters holding an entire crab in one pocket, and you can barely see it. So it really goes to show how big those pockets expand. So really great job, Oswald, showing off all of those otter adaptations today. So thank you for joining us, and we hope that you had fun learning along with Wait. Brittany Oswald and I. Yeah.